over these past two practices, what's one thing in your game that uh, you're looking to improve on, and how could this help you? Uh, I just say like recognizing where the ball is quicker and just getting off, just continue working on the get off, and that's a very key in the uh, scheme we're running this week. So just those things. All right, uh, what scheme would help you at the next level, and, and what are you looking to get into? Uh, any scheme, like I've, I've been used to playing any scheme from four I to uh, zero to uh, two I and three. But uh, my, my preference is a three, three, like playing a three or a two I and a tech style defense. These last two days in the first two practices of the senior bowl, what is uh, one thing that you've learned that might help your game at the next level? Uh, really just bonding with the people, uh, soaking up everything from the coaches that they're telling me because I know that they coach on that level. So they coaching where I'm trying to be. So I'm just soaking up everything that they're telling me. Huh. What was it like playing for Hugh Freeze? I know it was only a year, but what is his vision at Auburn? Uh, I feel like he got a great plan for Auburn. Uh, he got great personal goals. He's a man of Christ, and he's bringing in the right people to be successful. After all of this, taking all of this in, uh, where do you expect yourself to go in the NFL draft? Uh, I really don't know right now. Anywhere would be anywhere would be there fine with me. There you uh, go. I really can't. I can't wait to that day. To just say I accomplished one of my main goals, so I'm ready to see. Why number 36? <laughs> so, uh, everybody always asks me why 36, but they never ask me why I was on the bench. <laughs> I don't know why, but listen, I, that's, that's funny, though. But listen, so uh, I was originally number 26 when I first got to Auburn. And uh, so this was around COVID, right? So I wasn't on kickoff, but that COVID season was crazy. Like if, if you're, if you caught, if you got COVID and like your roommate was in there, like that's con, like that's by contact. So they were out. So somebody, I can't really remember, somebody had got popped and they had to go out. So I got moved up on kickoff. So uh, Anders Carson was number 26 in kicker. So I had to change my number because he was older. So he got seniority. So um, they gave me 36 and uh, I just kind of stuck with it. Like some people just like, it's not your typical DB number. Um, and I don't know, I just, I just stuck with it. And people said I made it look good. So I just kind of, I just kind of stuck with it. Like, I just made it my thing. Yeah, man. Well, look, everything you went through at Auburn and we live in the era of the transfer portal. Why did you never transfer from Auburn when you could have taken your talents to a contender and competed for a national championship? Right. I just, uh, for one, there was always hope for me at Auburn that uh, we could be a championship contender. Like I wanted to win at Auburn yeah. for one, and then like I never, I never really committed to Auburn before like a coach or anything. Like it was more so the players that were on the team at the time. Uh, when I was a recruit, like I would go on visits, and I already felt like I was on the team. Like they just took me under their wing, made me feel like their little brother, and I just wanted to play with them, and which I did, and. It was it was some of the best 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 teammates I ever had. So um, and a lot of people do ask me that question, like why did I, I had every right to leave? I had four DCs, three different head coaches, like I did. But I uh, I don't know, like change. I just think of change as, as a challenge. You know what I mean? So I feel like I can I can handle it. Like uh, you just can't control certain things that happen to you. So I was just I just you just gotta adapt. And, you know I'm testing myself. Like how well can I adapt? And I feel like I can adapt to anything around me. So um, especially when it comes to football, like it's football. Yeah. Uh, I'm a football player. So uh, you know it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't too hard for me to to adapt to new coaches or whatever. Uh, it can happen at the next level. You know what I mean? The whole coaching staff can be gone. So. Yeah. It is what it is at, at that point. But I just – I loved Auburn. I just wanted to be at Auburn. Um, so, that was really the main reason. Man, that's why Auburn fans love you, man, yes. for real. Uh, they, we think the world <laughs> of you. Uh, anytime <laughs> I can show you love, I do it. Uh, I, I just – you holding down and, and staying and, and yeah. working your tail off, it, it, it meant a lot to the Auburn family. I appreciate uh, that. I've watched you ball out the last two days. What is one thing – uh, that you have taken away from all of this? And what is one part of your game you want to get better at? Yeah, so um, getting better at i I'll probably say, like, if I had one thing, because everything about my game can be sharpened up. So it, it's I work on I work on every single thing. So, But i would probably say uh, just hesitation, because I anticipate how I make plays is by my anticipation. It's, it's through the roof. 
So uh, sometimes I, I hesitate, my anticipation, I hesitate. And a lot of times I'm right when I hesitate, when I should have just went. And uh, I miss out on a whole lot of plays when I hesitate, man. So I wish, you know, not wish, I'm going to take that out of my game real, real soon. So uh, what was what was the first other part of your question? Um, so I've watched you ball out the last two days. Mm -hmm. um, what are you taking away from this, mm -hmm. uh, this whole experience, and how can it help you at the next level? Right, right, right. So all these, all the, like we're being coached by real coaches in the NFL, and they drop free game on us all the, all, all day long. Like they, they tell us, they give us the answers to the test. Like this is going to happen. This is, we're going to have to do this. This is going to be asked, all that. So I, like I take in all that because they've been it, walked it, talked it, all of it. A lot of them played and everything. And then, you know, just on the other side with the players, uh, you get to hear uh, how, you know, some of the other players, like from Georgia and all that, like how they uh, learn things, uh, easier ways to learn things, learn playbooks, uh, certain things, hand signals. A lot of our stuff is the exact same. They just say a different word, literally a different word. But uh, it's, a, it's a good experience. I'm taking it all in. I'm truly blessed to have this opportunity, and I'm blessed to have this opportunity with the guys that I played with the whole season, man, my boy DJ, Mighty, and uh, Marcus, man, I'm blessed that they here with me. Um, so, because you kind of don't know everybody, so I'm just blessed yeah. to kind of have somebody to talk to sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I'm just enjoying this experience, man. It's, it's real fun, and uh, you know, this won't be the last time all of us be on on the field with each other. We'll see each other in the league. Last question: uh, Who is the next great Auburn DB? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I can tell you, listen, I can tell you right now, I don't know who's going to be the next great one, right? I know that one of those, one of those, somebody at that corner position is going to have a breakout season. I don't know who, which one is going to be, but one of the, one of those guys, one of those guys is going to have a, a breakout season. Um, Caleb, be looking out for Caleb too, man. Caleb played behind me, and you know I tried to show him the way as much as I could. He was so smart. He was very, very smart. He's a very smart player. Uh, he's very t determined. He has a purpose. Um, that's why you saw him on the field sometimes uh, this season, man, because he's just a smart player. He understands the game, and I tried to just drop as much of the game as I could on him. And uh, I could see him being a being a real good player for Auburn, man. He 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 has that Auburn mentality that Auburn blue collar in him I can see it so uh yeah him mm, that's a great question man because it's like <laughs> it's like a lot of those guys haven't played but like I'm I, I'm with them every day I see the potential of all of them man so ah uh, Jesus I'm just going with Keontae Scott he's supposed yeah, to be man. here boy he's scared me right next to me anyway so but Keontae Scott Scott. Uh, he's coming back. He scared yeah. me for a minute now. But. He's gonna be. He's gonna be probably first team all this and see all that. Love sure. that. Love that. Sempedo. 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 Sempedo.